Hey guys, welcome back. It's your brother in Christ, Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of End Times Headlines. Let's get into it. Hey, in, in all things, um, uh, New World Order again, and digital IDs, and, and the craziness that we're about to experience. It says here, Canada wants a digital ID. Will America be next? Yes. <laughs> um, here we go. It says here, the uh, WF is actively promoting digital IDs. The Known Traveler Digital ID, or KTDI, is a WEF initiative that, according to its website, brings together a global consortium or cons consortium of individuals, governments, authorities, and travel industry to enhance security in the world travel. As you can pro probably tell by the name of the initiative, digital IDs are a core component of the WEF's desire to enhance security. Canada is KTDI's most prominent member. Now Canada, supposedly a country interested in advancing human rights, wants to introduce a federal digital ID program. According to recent report, the release by a Canadian government, those in charge want to make it easier. I said that before on my last video, I said the, the ease of use for Canadians to interact with government of Canada. For this to occur though, modern integrated systems and unwavering focus on the needs and experience of our citizens are required. In plain human language, this will require the introduction of digital IDs. Why is that Why is that even needed? Why, why is there a jump to that is what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, the elites in Davo, one imagine, are excited by the developments in Canada. Last year, in a rather revealing white paper, the WEFs outlined the many ways in which digital IDs will turbocharge our digital future. The authors cite China's use of digital IDs, biometric technologies. These, uh, they insist, have transformed consumer habits and delivered tangible benefits to Chinese citizens. The fact that the WEF is using China as a shining example, goodness gracious, the, why? We, we've talked about that. China, the mass surveillance, social credit scores, digital IDs, communism, um, uh, tyrannical governments, you name it, rinse, repeat that formula all over and you have an antichrist system, like for sure. Like anyways, um, should worry, uh, why digital IDs work should worry anyone who cherishes the idea of freedom. Should American citizens be concerned if Canada, the United States neighbor is prepared to roll out digital IDs? The answer is yes. If it can happen to anyone, in one of the most developed countries in the world, it can happen to the United States. In fact, some Democrats are actively pushing for digital IDs. In a recent piece for the American uh, conservative asked the question, why are Democrats pushing digital IDs? Uh, Rep, uh, Republican Bill Foster, or I guess, Rep, Rep, I don't know, uh, first introduced the Improving Digital a Identity Act back in 2020, but, has never, uh, but his idea never gathered momentum. Foster decided to reintroduce the measure. As the author Natalie Ames noted, the bill would also set up a task force, oh my gosh, here goes task force for everything, on digital identity and establish a grant program at the Department of Homeland Security to support the creation of inoperable identity credentialing systems for digital identity verifications on the state and local level. That is cr nuts, crazy yikes nuts. Yes, the DHS, the very same federal executive department that was trying to introduce the dis. I don't even know if I can say that. I'm not even gonna say that the bad information governance board uh, governance board earlier this year. Foster, as I discussed, the American conservative piece is not the only Democrat pushing digital IDs. He just is, he's just one of many. Which begs the question, why are a number of politicians on the left so interested in these problematic IDs? In short, they want to address identity fraud, a growing problem in the U.S. In 2021, nearly 42 million Americans were victim of identity fraud. Tens of billion dollars were lost to opportunistic fraudsters. Now, only a fool would argue that the identity fraud isn't a problem in the U.S., Something must be done. However, we must ensure the so-called cure is not worse than the disease. Hey, Amen. That is that's a good that's a good one-liner. You see, digital IDs are closely associated with social credit systems. Exactly. We've been talking about this for the longest. When one reads the words social credit system, their minds automatically jump to communist China, where 1.4 billion are constantly monitored and graded. Those who fall short are banned from booking flights and enrolling their children in certain schools. They become prisoners, unable to relocate elsewhere, and unable to give their children a better life. Nothing good comes from a social credit system. People are forced to live in a constant state of fear, constantly checking the score to see if they are considered good or bad by those charges. With Canadian authorities creating the infrastructure required to implement a digital identification network, some are concerned that a social credit system similar to one in China is just around the corner. Their concerns are warranted. Digital IDs lay the path for social credit systems. Without them, a credit system would be impossible. I talked about this, I feel like, at length 
And I think people just think that maybe it's just a fairy tale of some sort. Um, this is real. And there's no reason why the U.S. would not do it. The only pushback would be is that we're too free. I say that all the time. We're too free and that you would, it would be harder to implement here, but there would have to be something that would bring us together. What is that? What kind of devastation is that going to be? What kind of um, malicious purpose, intent, is that going to try to remove the freedoms of Americans to join us together and band together? We got to do this, right? They're saying, like, this is the proposition for for Canadian Canadians to interact with their Canadian government is that you have to do digital, digital IDs. Why? Why is that even, how did you make the jump? And why does that even make sense? I have no idea. But for ease of use, we talked about that, and for implementation and for servicing people, making life so much easier. And it would be, it'd be racist if you didn't do this because there were, uh, there were um, what is it, a, uh, uh, um, Poverty people who who people in poverty or people who are who are having hard times who need the, the ability to be able to interact with their government at a, at a at a whim just at a push of a button right you, you can't withhold that from them it's, it's just it's underlying malicious intent with something that looks good it's it's all the time uh, but this this right here this leads me to believe in a full totalitarian antichrist system that he will use to rise up from from nuclear war, from uh, some kind of economic crash where every service crashes and out of the ashes of that, here he comes and he takes this and he implements it together and it's just spread across the world. And this makes, so, this is, this I have used this and said this so many times, this is why you cannot buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast, the number of his name, um, uh, what is it, on the right hand or forehead, or the number of his name, the number, uh, let the reader have wisdom, let the, him understand, the number is 666. It just makes sense. And it, it clearly says, no matter what position you take, like, if when you look at this, this immediately makes you think of Bible prophecy, to the Christian at least. It would make you think of Bible prophecy, it would make you think of Revelation 13. And it just screams Revelation 13. So, that's the video, guys. Let me know what y'all think about this, um, and when do you think this will be implemented and uh, let's keep an eye on Canada and see what happens there and how, if that's going to be able to, if there's going to be pushback again. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, man, this is, this is nuts. This is, this is psychopaths that are, that are at some point are, are power hungry and demon infested, I would say, uh, to be able to do something like, or conjure up something like this and think it's good. So anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think. I'll see you in the next one.